Hi everyone, welcome to another Doodle Days. This is episode 7, if I am correct. I am showing you my pen here. It's a Precise V5 and and the pre-sketch doodle is uh, almost a pyramid with an eye. It's one that I have drawn um, for a really long time. I think the earliest time that I've drawn this was probably back when I was in my teens, probably about 16, because I actually drew it up as a quick test for a friend's tattoo. Um, it never came to fruition because I never got it completely finished. I only did the pyramid part with the eye and the rays off of it. I never went further and actually did the full out scene behind it that he was looking for, which was good because I would feel really bad about having my drawing on somebody if they decided they really didn't want it in the end. But yeah, I think it turned out really, really good um, for the part I did do. And to this day, he, he still does inquire about this tattoo. Um, so maybe I should go ahead and finish it up for him, but um, we shall see. Um, yeah, so I'm just doing a quick sketch on this for you guys today, and I am hoping that you all like it, and thank you all for joining for my new subscribers. I appreciate it, and I hope you like what you see, and ever if you have any questions or comments or anything, feel free to leave them in the comment section below or you can get me on any of my social media links which are in the description box as well. It has been quite fun working on these so far and I think I might want to change it up um, just a little bit and throw in some different types of inking so it won't just be these quick doodles in this. Maybe I'll do some um, on like smaller pieces of paper, maybe throw in a different, some different mediums every now and then. Um, there are a few things I want to try experimenting with and I really want to get back into the art side. Um, mainly my channel is kind of a throw together of everything, if you will, crafty that is. Um, I do like drawing and inking. Um, I've gotten back into my fiber arts again so crocheting, knitting, um, a little bit of tatting, but I haven't shared that because I really haven't finished a piece yet. And I still do work with paper crafts, however, it is very rare. A lot of it actually comes down to planning. Um, I do like my planner, so I may throw in a planner video here and there on my channel. So definitely, if you're interested in seeing any of these, you know, definitely leave me comments below and let me know what you're interested in that I do so I do more videos. I stopped doing some planner videos for a while. Um, however, I'm still decorating my planner and I do use it. Um, I'm working on actually making my own planner inserts and some of my planner stickers because it just it's easier for me to make my own. I do have the art program to do it and I do love doing that. Like I said, that's the art side I'm really into. Um, and I'm actually working on a set, and it's only for A5s, on it, uh, sorry. Um, that's what I'm actually working towards getting back into. Right now I'm working into in a compact size, and I really do love that, but I want to get back into my A5 size because I really, really enjoy that, and I find that sometimes I need a little bit more room. Although the space in those are actually a little bit more limited for the style that I'm trying to see if I like so but we'll see but if you are interested definitely leave me a comment below and as you can see I'm almost maybe halfway done here already close and I'm doing in the background I'm doing kind of like a, a round steel pattern so it's just the bars with the um, bolts in the section like where they would combine and join which I really like that pattern. It's simple, but it does add a lot of detail. Um, not so much in a lot of lined detail, but in a lot of interest detail. Um, and I do really like how this one turned out in the end. It was super fun to do. And if any of you want to draw along with me, I would love to see, you know, your creations. So, you know, tag me or, you know, send me a link to it. it I would definitely love to check it out. 
and here I'm just filling in the black and like I said I'm gonna use up this pen until it doesn't have any more ink in it and then I'm gonna switch off I find that I keep buying all these supplies and they sit there and I'm trying to downsize and declutter my life so what better way than to work one through one pen at a time and I'm doing my best with that um, the only thing I don't want to do that with is like my Copic or Copic markers or anything that's like more on the expensive side or like my uh, fountain pen like I could go on with that for like until I run out of ink and um, I'm not gonna bring that in to my inking too much I don't think until I could get through some of these other pens that I have although I may switch back and forth um, and throw it an ink pen one in there every now and then because I'm really itching to play with that again and I'd like to show you all um, some of the things that I could do with that and yeah I was also debating on maybe every now and then when I work on the smaller pieces of paper me putting the fig, uh, finished pe uh, piece up for sale and it'll be exclusive to my YouTube followers um, and maybe every once in a while maybe I'll put it, something up for sale on like my Instagram or yeah probably Instagram because I'm on there more often I haven't been posting a whole lot just lately I'm hoping to get back into that more but yeah I kind of fell out of it there for a while but yeah so in between there and here but if I show it on here and I say it's for here it's only for here so if you guys would be interested in that let me know cuz that would be awesome I could uh, you'd actually get a um, original piece of my artwork and unless you'd rather you know a digital copy but I was looking more to give the original away and I'll keep it digital but um yeah I would definitely love to hear from you guys and get your thoughts and opinions on that and I just love sharing my art with you guys and I and I noticed that at least a handful of you enjoy it and that really does make my day and make me feel good so I wanted to try to keep up with it the best I can and yeah I'm not quite sure I'm kind of at a loss for words now <coughs> Here I'm just doing the deep detailing of the eye, which is just basic lines and um, a little shading with doing some cross hatching, which I think looks really good. And this is all being the cross hatching and all the shading is actually being put in as I go. That wasn't pre drawn in there, so you'll see that like part of it I do make a little bit darker than what it really should be if you're going off of natural lighting, but. I do really like how it came out and I like the depth that it's giving the piece so in kind of a little bit more of an abstract way I guess for the shading but I appreciate it for you guys sticking around and my new subscribers thank you for subscribing and if you're not already please subscribe it would help me greatly and I'd really appreciate it and I can't wait to see all your guys thoughts and comments and hope to see you all in the next one take care have a great week guys bye